Yeah, right now I'm using a uh, Audio Technica AT2020, which is a cardioid uh, condenser mic, uh, the XLR cable connected to the H6. I'm buying a lot of uh, these microphones. Sound recording it's a really difficult subject or topic in this um, filming thingy. And I have encountered quite a bit of uh, different scenarios, for example, interviews. Also outdoors, uh, a couple of guys talking shit. So I want to be able to record uh, a fairly clean sound. I understand the fact that, you know, if you want to have good sound quality, you will, it's very likely you will need a separate guide uh, who will be responsible for well, doing the sound recording. I am a one-man band, so I am not sure whether this is this will be feasible or not but it's okay uh i'm here to learn anyway so yeah there's audio technica mounted on this well tripod here and i have this uh gh4 and i have the black magic recording all of us well partly anyway um the gh4 has the Rode video mic connected to it. And I will be syncing the sound clips um, in doing the post processing. Uh, well, okay, it's annoying. It's pain in the ass because you know you see all these cables here. Why am I doing all of this? I, I don't. I don't know. It's. I guess it's a natural evolution to um, once you get into video making. You know, it's, it's only natural that you would, you know, gradually move on to sound recording as well. And the second reason why I am. Um, fascinated with this is because you, know, you guys know that um, I'm doing um, this photo community here in Hong Kong called the Shutter Alliance, right? So as time goes by, um, um, we will be interviewing like various photographers, publishers, or even some big boys. Um, so I want to look as professional as possible. So this is why, like, I need to learn to be able to use these equipments. I mean, like, as a photographer, um, you know, the only thing we really care about is the pixel count and also the lens, like, you know, whether it's, you know, really nice bokeh lenses, but we don't, we don't really give a shit or we don't know anything about sound recording. I want to move out of it. Uh, you know, I want to be able to know, not becoming a professional, but rather as a serious hobbyist. But, see, I'm not too crazy about this world video bike. Um, it's, it's. I guess it's it's, it's useful for if you if you're doing a vlogging thingy, you know, the camera or the other and the mic, it's you know an arm distance. But if you want to record something, you know, farther away, mm, I'm kind of like you know, I'm skeptical with it. I, uh, I am pretty pleased with uh, the Rode Wireless Go. I hope. Okay. Yeah, it's a plane flying by. Flying by. Not sure whether these guys will be able to record the sound from the outside. Anyway, um, yeah, I would need to buy the Rode uh, VXLR. It's a 3.5 jack going to into the XLR. I need that to be able to use connect the wireless go to the H6. For some stupid reason, they are not selling here. Selling it here in Hong Kong, I don't know why. Yeah, well, recently I've just got this uh, Sin Sinco. It's a uh, oh, wait. Yeah, it's called a Sinco Mic D2. Okay, it's a it's a it's a lot longer than the the Rode video mic. Uh, it's a cardioid. It's a super cardioid shotgun, and. It uses a full-size XLR, which you know all I need is connected directly to the H6. Well, I guess this is not a good comparison between this shotgun mic versus this Audio Technica. It's a completely different thing. This 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 Audio Technica sounds a lot warmer and richer, which I think it's really useful for podcasting. But for this guy, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm using a Senko. Mic D2. I know I'm supposed to get uh, one of those suspension thingy. As a matter of fact, I don't even have a uh, what do you call it? Um, those boom pole 
as time goes by, I will set it up properly once we have moved back to the studio. This kind of um, mic, they say uh, isn't, you're not supposed to use it indoor. As a matter of fact, I have read this article from Harvard. It says, do you have to quit, quit. Yeah, practice yoga, you know, nothing fancy, just twisting and turning, you know, but just do it regularly, like every morning, every day for like 15, 20 minutes, but yeah, but do it, you know, diligently and stuff. Yeah, I can vouch for that. It does really improve your health, your body, everything. But uh, anyway, back to this. Yeah, so here we are. The time is now 8 o'clock. Uh, we are in the Victoria Park. Well, we've been coming here almost every day, or at least every morning. Uh, the black magic is attached to the, the road video mic and the Senko to the H6. Not too pleased with the sound recording yesterday because I forgot to adjust the gain. I'm, I have to really learn this. Uh, or oh, here at now this is a really powerful a little mixer a recorder whatever you want to call it it's overkill for me I have no idea how to use this but if I just found out that it I could use these world video mic or anything that's using the 3.5 jack you can just connect it plug it into this unidirectional module which is also a mic by the way yeah it's, it's recording directly from this video mic I know, I know this is silly but you know I'm not sure whether this, this zoom will fry this road but anyhow see the reason why I'm testing it out is because I really I'm you know I really want to be able to use the road wireless uh, go along with the the, the Cinco thingy well let's give it a shot with the let's p try to pair them together using the wireless go instead of this video mic um, which frankly it's very likely uh, yeah this will become redundant yeah maybe not it's a lot easier to use this guy Okay, well, I guess it works. So I'm I'm using the Rode Wireless with this um, thing. So I guess like the first thing I have to learn is need to be able. To, I need to know how to use how to read this chart here uh, during the recording so that I can minimize whatever adjustment I need to make during the post processing. Right now, this gain is set at 7, and maybe I should lower it down to a bit 6. I'm not really into a loud thingy. But yeah, I'm glad uh, it's working. Um, but, but I still think I might need the Rode VXLR. It'll make life a lot easier because I might need to use this uh, unidirectional mic as well. So. And yeah, I went to Wan Chai today to uh, did this computer more. None of them has it. I don't know why they're not selling this Rode VXLR. It says your mindfulness means living in the present moment. Okay, the cat is yelling and being aware. I am fully aware of the existing of my of the cat who is next to me. But still, you know, I can vouch for um, the fact that yoga is really beneficial to body, mind, and yeah, blah, blah. Again, this is not a comparison between these guys. It's just basically me learning how to use these equipments. Yeah, so right now I'm going back to the post-processing app because I gotta learn how to remove these, the background noise, this hissing thing, this humming thingy. It's somewhat bugging me, but then again, it's only annoying when I'm using these headphones. Otherwise, if I'm using uh, the, the, the speaker from the, the computer, it's okay. It's part of this learning process, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, well, thanks for watching. Uh, stay healthy, all right? Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.
how about if I were to switch? I'm going back to the the road video mic. The hissing, the the the, the ambient noise seems to be less with this guy here. Maybe it's because it's closer to the mouth. All right. Okay, I can still hear this. Oh, that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I, I like this guy.